Hey guys, SSR here. So this is the latest on our preps. Uh, we went to, well, we tried to find some more of our buckets that we had over here before. Uh, you can look it back on some of the other videos. They were uh, pet food buckets, and they had sealed lids on them and all that kind of stuff. But we can't find them anymore. Uh, so went to uh, Walmart, and the other day they were out of these buckets. But today I went by, they were they had them. So I got two food grade buckets, and. Um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put up some cornmeal because cornmeal is one of them things that we use when we fish and, and cook fish and eat fish and uh, I don't want to run out of cornmeal. So what we do is we put a couple bay leaves down in there in the bottom and then I know a lot of you are going to say, well, you're supposed to freeze your cornmeal first. Well, I've never frozen any of it. Now, we used to keep it in the freezer. But we have kept it out on the cabinets before with the bay leaves in it. And it doesn't get weevils in it. Now whether the bay leaves actually does the trick or not, I don't know. But so far it seems to. I've been watching our flower over here. And we've not had any issues with weevils in the flower. So there's one bag of cornmeal and a couple bay leaves in the bottom. And then there's another bag and two more bay leaves so there's this is the kind we like shawnee's best yellow corn mix corn milk for our catfish fries or whatever so these are uh let's see how many pounds are these a piece these are five pounds probably yeah five pounds each so that's uh 10 pounds in there so far i'll put another couple of bay leaves in there Level that out. So now we're at uh, 15 pounds of Shawnee's Best. Kind of even that out. A couple more bay leaves. 20 pounds of Shawnee's Best. And these are about, I think they were two or two dollars and something a bag for these. So there's 20 pounds of cornmeal, and I'm going to go ahead and drop a couple of bay leaves on top. Can't sprinkle them. Just to make sure. Oh, it looks like I dropped some little pieces in there. That won't hurt the catfish. Alright. So that's what I'm going to do with that. And then I'm. Now this trash bag is just a regular old trash bag, it's unscented. Whatever. I'm just going to pull these tight and i didn't clean the bucket out that's why i'm kind of why i'm using the trash can or trash bag for because i didn't really clean the bucket out i didn't want to get it wet and have to wait for it to dry and all that now the lids are actually sold separate buckets are like five bucks lids are like three what an ingenious idea huh make a bucket and a lid and then sell them separately next week you'll have to get the handle separately you know with the bucket too you know, it'll be three sections on the bucket now you could put a oxygen absorber in there if you thought moisture was going to be an issue, but I don't think so. So anyway, I'm going to write cornmeal on this, and we're going to stick it right over here, right there. And uh, these are the other buckets I was talking about earlier that we got from Costco's or Sam's Club, and I did a video on them. And after I did the video, I couldn't get no more of them. <laughs> so, thanks, guys. Anyway, I uh, just wanted to share that with you. I went ahead and got an extra bucket for something else. And an extra lid. So, you're looking like eight bucks for a bucket and a lid. And uh, who would have thunk it, huh? A bucket and a lid would cost you eight bucks. Anyway. And then we've got some preps over here that you can see that we still got to put up. Um, bought some coffees the other day, some vinegar, shotgun shells, can't eat those, anyway, uh, more potted meat, I don't know what all, one can of peanuts that was left, so anyway, we got to get this cleaned up and organized and on the shelves, so anyway, 
Uh, that's it for this one. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Stay safe. God bless.